some Hoyas I want to propagate. Let's propagate some Hoyas together. So over here I have my Hoya Carnosa Wilbur Graves China. This one is You can see the way it's growing, it has like this one long vine and it's really heavy at the bottom here. So I'm gonna propagate this. Then I have my Hoya Crassi Petiolata. So you can see it also has some long vines. Uh, I'm gonna propagate just some of them and make a bush here plant also, hopefully. That's the plan. I also have a Hoya Crassi Petiolata Splash. So if you guys can see the difference in the foliage here. Not sure if you can see here. So this is the regular and this is the splash. So I'm just going to propagate on the splash here. I think these two leaves, leaf nodes here. And I have here my Hoya Weimanii Borneo. So you see these are beautiful, right? The leaves. And then as it started growing, it just kind of started curling. So I'm going to go ahead and chop this up and maybe propagate it and see what happens. Because it has like just one extremely, extremely long vine. This vine here, it's just so long. Then I'm also going to be propagating this guy. I think I recently showed you guys this plant. Um, this is my Hoya Verticillata Splash. So it's quite top heavy over there. I'm just gonna prop probably right here and right here. So we'll do all of that today. I think I'm gonna clean the leaves first. Um, I have. Containers here. I really want to spray down. I don't do that. Just wipe the leaves. There's no pest or anything. I just want to clean the leaves because it's pretty dusty. I'm just going to clean the Wilbur graves as well and then I'll be starting the propagating and repotting. So I just took it out of the pot. The roots looks really good. The soil does look pretty compacted. Um, so it's definitely time to give it a, a repot. I feel like putting it into the head planter. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's do the head planter. Because I will be propagating it so it won't be as long.
He is just a little bit dirty. We, we, we will clean him up when we water him. Okay, next I'm going to take some cuttings. Um, let me get my scissors. Snip. So let me get my tissue ready because they will bleed. So I'm definitely going to cut. I'm probably going to cut all the way back actually. There you go. actually not bleeding too bad because I didn't wear it so I am gonna cut again here and then this is pretty much useless so I have this long this long line to root and this to root so these are pretty good these are pretty good cuttings just gonna stick this one in here. It's still bleeding. Okay. Put this one in here too. The leaves are a little bit awkward on this cutting. Because this one is like facing, I don't know, down. But yeah, that's pretty good. should put this in here I don't know we'll see if I need to move it I'll move it okay I think I might leave it like that I think it's kind of funny looking yeah I kind of like it so I might just leave it like that what do you guys think is should I have cut this too I don't know <laughs> is it weird that I I'm leaving it like this. I don't know. But I'm gonna leave it for now. Just, just kinda like it. Next is gonna be the Wilbur Graves. Um also gonna repot it. But I, you know what? I think I'm gonna chop it first this time around because This one is really top heavy. Chopped. I'm gonna be pretty ruthless with this one. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that. This one's actually not bleeding at all. I noticed the carnosas don't bleed. Which is very interesting. Alright, this is too big of a cutting. So this whole piece here, I'm gonna cut some more. Um, I mean, I guess I can root it like this. Might not work if I put this in water. I feel like it's gonna be way too top heavy. I might need to put this in stratum. Yeah. I'm gonna cut this. But I think it needs to go into stratum. Yeah. You see how heavy this is? This is really top heavy. This isn't gonna stay in water. So I'm gonna water proper I'm gonna put that in stratum. This one. Let's see. Ooh, actually looks pretty nice. 
This cutting is growing a little weird. I might have to fix it like that. Yeah, let's do that. I think it looks really nice. Good, okay. I think we are done with the Wilbur Graves. I think it looks really good. Uh, I just need to maybe clip it or put a string there. I'm actually going to put a string towards the middle so it doesn't lean over. So I'm just going to tie it. There you go. Perfect. Looks so cute. Let's get a. So I went and got some shraddam. We're gonna stick some of these cuttings in. This should do. And then these are these are long enough to be propagated. So it's just this one, to be honest. Should I stick another one in there? Stick this one too. While we're here anyway. Okay. And then... The rest, I am going to use... Water. There you go. Cute. Water is still my preferred method of propagation. Next I have this guy. This is my Weimanii Borneo pretty plant, but it's growing just so awkward. So I think I'm going to chop it all the way back. All the way back here. Done. And this is really, really long, so I'm going to continue to chop and see if anything happens with the vine with no leaves. So that's one node, that is two, three, Four, and I'm gonna leave this one. Yeah, let's do shroud them for these. I'm gonna fill this up a little bit. So we've got some little nubs. And this guy, I think I'm gonna unpot it and repot it into terracotta. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Right 
fruits look great. We're done. It looked a little odd, but <laughs> let's just see how it does. So we are gonna propagate from here. Oh, let's see. I'm just gonna cut right here. Okay. I'm gonna cut this back too. go nuts today <laughs> then I'm gonna repot this too because now I don't think it needs it. and I've always wanted to repot this because I felt feel like so this is the front of the pot right and I feel like I've always potted it facing the wrong direction like this is the front of the plant and then this is the front of the pot so yeah that is that okay so I think these are good cuttings let's Take care of the cuttings first, and I'm, I'm gonna see what I want to do. This can be two cuttings here. This I think can go in here. Yeah, that's perfect. This goes in here too. You guys can't see. Look, we've got a pot. This is so pretty. <laughs> Sometimes, like when they're propagating in glass vessels, they just look so pretty. Okay, let's try to get this out of the pot. Tired. There we go. Okay. All right. Whew. That is the root system. Looks pretty good. So it is two separate cuttings. Previously, I had it like this, I think. Yeah. So. This is so awkward. Like this big leaf here is really big, but I feel like it gets in the way. This is really pretty, right? This one section here. Um, I think I'm gonna do it like this. Then this leaf covers. I might chop this big leaf off. <laughs> like it just it's so awkward and like I don't want to do it like this mm, no gonna cut the big leaf gonna do it and this leaf curls around it's very interesting now I can do this. 
and I think that looks pretty good. I put it like this. This guy in there. I think that's enough soil. I'm gonna just Last plant that we need to deal with is the Crassy Petiolata Splash. So I'm going to take the cuttings first. It's a tiny plant so it's easy to deal with. So I'm going to take one here and one there. And I will be repotting this plant into the new mix. So we'll do that. Let's take this one here. And this one's definitely going to be too long for the stratum, so I'm going to trim it. Put them right next to each other. Like so. I'm just going to fill up the stratum a little bit more over there. Alright, so I got the little propagations here done. So here's the root system. I'm just gonna repot it into the new potting mix. Um, I'm gonna use the same pot probably. No. Do we have something slightly bigger? I might have to go inside and look for a slightly bigger pot. This one is a little bit too small now because the root system is bigger than when I first so let me go look for a pot. Oh, I found these two pots. Um, I have this one it's slightly bigger than the one it was in. So this was the pot that it was in. And then I also have this one, which let me see. Which is very slightly bigger. So let's get the cutting. This is really cute. I think I'm gonna do this. Yeah, this is just big enough. So we're gonna do it. it gets me so excited when I find like a good pot for um my plants. Okay. I need to cut some mesh.
Okay, I think we are done. How cute is that? Um, everything is done. I'm feeling very relieved. There's some stratum props there. I'm feeling so relieved because a lot of these tasks I've been kind of putting off because I've been dreading doing them. Here is a final look at everything. Verticillata Splash. Crassi Petiolata. Wilbur Graves. Crassi Petiolata Splash. Waymanii Borneo. All the props in water. And then props in stratum. So we are done for today. I am so relieved. It's been about a week and I propagated these in water. So I just want to show you guys the update because I'm not kidding when I say like the water propagation works really really well for me. Um, there's already roots. You can see there. I don't know if there's- yep, there's more roots over there. I don't know if you can see right there. Yep. And you can also see here, there's a ton of roots. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh, this is doing really well. This is the Verticillata Splash. So this is doing really well in water. This is the Wilbur Graves in water. Look at those roots. And this is a week. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm definitely going to try rooting in tree fern fiber since a lot of you have convinced me to try it. So um, I'll do another video on that. But yeah, so exciting. And then I have the Crossy Petiolata in water. Um, also starting to form roots. You can see those little white dots. That's actually roots forming. So that's also really exciting. Nothing as far along as the other two, but it's coming. So I'm really excited. Wilbur Graves that I put into Shadow. Um, I'm not going to pull it out. I don't want to disturb it. It's been a week only. Um, I'm not sure if it's rooting or not, but the leaves look great nothing bad happening so i'm gonna take it that it's you know moving along so yeah it's the line here so yeah i just want to give you guys a quick little update because i noticed some growth after a week um, originally i was just going to give you guys an update much later but i said why not let's just share that with you since it's exciting all right, so that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.